host the history making double showings of Inside Xbox and State of Play, how do things fare out? What were the highlights? And who won? Cause that matters, right? Let's get into it. What's up peoples, what's up peoples, what's up peoples? It's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please. Because you wanna know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because I'm not too proud to ask. And before we get into this one, I wanna say this. This may be the first official video, video during the eighth generation that, I, that someone is able to unify both the Xbox fan base and the PlayStation fan base. Because I want to pre-warn you. I'm going to make both of y'all mammy jammies mad at me this one. But let's get into it. Hey, yo. <laughs> but let's do it like this. You know how your boy likes to do it. I break it up into three parts. First, I like to give you the checkup of the situation. Then I give you the analysis. And then I drop the prescription. So first, the checkup. All right. So we had state of play and Inside Xbox both aired on the same day for the first time ever. And that occurred on September 24th, 2019, right? Now, though nobody knew what to expect from Xbox, people were in heavy anticipation for State of Play due to The Last of Us 2 being shown off. Now, after watching both of those, here are my thoughts. Now on to the analysis. Last of Us 2, Sean was good with some hype moments, particularly in regards to a fan favorite of the game, I'll just leave it at that. It no way did any harm to the hype for the game, but it wasn't as good as, as last time it was shown. You know what I'm saying? It, it didn't show as much gameplay. It, just the, the overall intensity wasn't there as far as, you know, letting you know how the feel and play of the game was gonna be, right? It was more cinematic than anything. Now, with Xbox and inside Xbox, they announced that it was taking registrations for xCloud beta and the signup began right then and there as they were making this announcement on the show. Besides those two announcements from each show, overall, both shows were trash. <laughs> I mean, that's just the fact of the matter. We, we gotta keep it real here, man. Like I said, I'm gonna unify y'all, but maybe not in the way that y'all would expect. See, here's a prescription, y'all. Okay, now we're going to get to the meat and potatoes. I can sit up here and I can tell you what show was better. You know what I mean? But that would be like me, like I always say, comparing the poop sandwich to the cup of piss, okay? Just because one goes down smoother doesn't make it a good treat. The Last of Us 2 should have been announced separately. Now, I pointed out that the show may not have had the effects and maybe didn't present as far as gameplay was concerned what everybody was looking for but it was still a good showing and that within itself should have been separated from the other muck which was state of play x cloud signups we're not deserving of this show right come on xbox you late to the game everybody else been here that should have been like some type of tweet or something like that or some some sizzle reel about xCloud and, and you shouldn't have wasted our time uh, over an hour I believe of that show these were total waste of times of totality again and it shows the dilemma in 2019 that has become of 2019 rather in gaming as far as the, the big two are concerned one can't punch yourself out of a wet paper bag to entertain at a high level, Xbox. And the other has shown that pedigree to be able to do so consistently in the past, but feels it needs not to simply because it's doing better than the competition, Sony. As I said previously, for Xbox 2019 was all theirs in regards to fanfare. And, then, and, and they squandered that big time. Now regarding Sony, they remind me of a boxer who tells you they no longer need to go to the gym because they can beat up the third grader, right? <laughs> Sony's presentations are usually way better than this in years past, as I said earlier. And again, this is coming from somebody that's not particularly a Sony game fan. This is embarrassing, though. 
that to them and many of their fanatics that they have resigned to judging by the lowest common denominator. Again, we can beat up the third grader, we good to go. Being that Sony was absent from fan, the fanfare scene in any significant way over a year now, I was expecting a bigger showing of The Last of Us 2 from Sony, from Sony directly. Similar to how they did with God of War. Bigger shows as we got closer to release, right? Now, with that said, there is a media showcase coming, but that's besides my point here. I'm focusing on the, the attributions of these companies themselves. Xbox altogether just needs to go zero dark 30 until A, xCloud is ready, B, Scarlet Release is announced, and three, Halo Infinite is get drops a full reveal. Shut the hell up until then. And back to that point that I spoke of earlier. This has been a poor year of hype between these two. That's my theme here. That's my thesis. That's all I'm trying to say. And don't just take it from me. Don't take it as MM2K hate. When I was on Next Gen 720 show, you know what I'm saying? While we were doing the live reactions, I saw a lot of, I was expressing this then, and a lot of people were like, MM2K, The Last of Us 2 got you crying. Uh, shut up. <laughs> the Last of Us 2 was my game of show in 2018. And because of The Last of Us 2 and 2018, when everybody was saying that Xbox One E3, I was the lone wolf saying that it was PlayStation. With uh, only with his focus on four games, maybe four or five, maybe six games. I said PlayStation won that. So don't give me that garbage. Again, y'all want to judge by the lowest common denominator. I am resigning over the fact that Xbox has been trashed this generation. I'm over that, meaning I'm not expecting anything from them, meaning that I'm even questioning if they're gonna get further support from me. Y'all seen my videos. So therefore, because I'm, a poten I'm potentially eliminating somebody off my list, more pressure goes on Sony to keep it up, not to slow it down. Do you understand what I'm saying now, okay? And this stuff matters. Fanfare matters. And Sony has shown that it matters in the past. And don't just take it from me. Look at the fact that the Switch is destroying both of these consoles this year. Yes, again, this stuff matters. And you know what? That's it from your boy MM2 Gay. And yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because I know y'all gonna go crazy in there. Go do it. Do it. Do the damn thing. Because who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, if you do feel like I had a point in all this, you can catch me on the corner every boulevard, baby. Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples. Dirk Griggity, Snow Bunny, Neethles. It's called Scram Punks. We do it every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but the time is going to change. Stay with us on the pntsnetwork.com for updates or look up um, hashtag scrampunks for more information. Yo, check me out with my brethren, the broadband bullies. We're doing the damn thing. Check out that Discord link. Check out that link to that Patreon. Check out the link to the gear because it's fly. Definitely check out the best damn podcast. We got the best damn giveaway, period. That's that's out there. You know what I'm saying? We're doing big things. Check it out on Next Gen 720's channel. And last but not least, check out your boy on the Hard Knock Digital Culture. We are doing a revamp of everything in October. Stay tuned for that. And the Hard Knock Digital Culture is where we highlight hardcore gaming, hardcore martial arts, and hardcore anime. With that being said, hey, look, I hope my unification of the Xbox and the PlayStation community worked. <laughs> I'll be the sacrificial lamb, baby, because like the great, great prodigy said, if I die swinging, everybody dies. But with that said, y'all have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.